It's, uh, I'm waiting for the age check to come out now, and it will die shortly, I promise. As do the judge and the coaches for the gold medal match. We've seen Prills in a thriller taking bronze here in Medellin. And boy, oh boy, the excitement continues. What a matchup we've got. I think, for me, one of the most exciting matches uh, since we returned to international competition. We've got a 15-year-old who's right at the beginning of what's looking like a very, very promising career, going up against the greatest of all time, shooting on home soil. Let's go down to the range because it's time for the compound women's individual gold medal match. And like I say, what a lineup we've got. Okay, this one builds itself up on its own. A 15-year-old in Nico Ariola won the Vegas shoot twice. Uh, she's at 13 and 14, I should add. Up against seven times Hyundai Archery World Cup final champion, Sara Lopez, shooting on home soil, getting back to the, some of her invincible best. And just to add to the drama, look at the weather. The rain has started to come down as we go into this gold medal match. A place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup finals up for grabs for the winner. A place in history up for grabs between these two for sure. Sara Lopez of Colombia to shoot first. And this is going to be interesting to see um, if Lico is going to be able to handle the, you know, the audience and and uh, the, just the grandstand with them cheering all for Colombia. Uh, because it is a very weird sensation when you're shooting against somebody in their home country. You try not to make it get to your mind, but it will, and, and you'll need to accept that, and you need to, you know, stay objective in that regard as well. Like, okay, this is getting to me, but I'll try not to uh, be affected by it too much. Right, tipping down as well, and that's going to affect uh, Lopez, Lopez with the experience she has as she scampers underneath the uh, brolly. Umbrella, I should say, for those that uh, don't speak uh, British English. What is interesting, though, about the rain here is that Sarah Lopez shoots with a uh, clarifier in her peep sight. So she has a little bit of a, like a, a, a tiny lens in her peep sight to make it clearer to see. Um, if a drop of water were to get into that, it's very difficult to get it out, and that would completely block her vision. So um, before this end, when it started to rain, she had a bit of a cover. Uh, now she's holding her bow under an umbrella, which has the same effect. but. Um, if a drop of rain were to uh, fall into her peep sight, she needs to have uh, something to blow it out uh, that is not just her breath, because then it would fog up. So, interesting uh, little thing to keep in mind when uh, when it comes to Sarah Lopez. Absolutely, there you can see that clarifier uh, just above the, the the spirit level. Is that is that? No, that's the scope. So the clarifier is actually in her in peep the sight. Peep. Yeah, actually in the bow, yeah. so in the string itself. Interesting. And is that why they use the little bow, the little pump, um, yeah. to, to clear that out if it was to get water in it? it yeah, most most people who use a clarifier uh, will have a uh, like little bellow with them to uh, blow out the, the droplets of water. Uh, you could see Sarah holding her hand over her peep sight when she was walking up to the light, so she is uh, mindful of it. Conscious. And I think it has to do with the fact that she's had it happen in the finals venue before, and she doesn't want it to happen again. Yeah. Venue. Measure. 
I agree with the announcer, though. I think it's a 10. Well, if that's the case, then that's uh, one point claw back already. Yeah, it's difficult to grasp uh, how impressive that is because it's not just uh, like your physical, uh, the, the fact that you're only 15 years old and that will probably mean that you shoot lighter bows, or but it's also she hasn't had the the time to rack up experience that other people have. Um, so Range craft. Yeah. So and, and Sarah has been around forever, basically. So at least a decade. Point, but wait for the measure. And that the fairy tale is in her women's team competition. Gold in the mixed team. I was going to say maybe it would be nice of her to leave it to somebody else for once, but uh, yeah, I, I guess she'll still be the, the favorite in this match now. Look at Liga Ariola, but worth mentioning that it was uh, Olivia Dean who's the agent for her on the target face, just 16 years old, also made her debut here in that uh, American gold medal winning team. Compound Saturday. These two groups know each other well, work together well. The future looks bright for US compound archery, that's for sure. Yeah, they have uh, a couple of really good junior archers uh, coming up, it seems. Talk about coping with the physical pressure and then the mental pressure. What about coping with the fact that Lopez shoots at 100 miles an hour? Yeah, if, if you're not a quick archer and you need your 20 seconds, then um, it, it can be difficult to shoot against a very quick archer. Uh, we've seen this as well in Antalya where Dano Laru um, basically uses five seconds to shoot his, uh, his arrow sometimes. Um, and then you're still putting your arrow on the bow, you're already up again. So um, if you're a slow archer or if you need some more time, then uh, that can definitely uh, throw a spanner on the horse. But in this case, uh, I think he goes on really stressed for time. She's not, and uh, Lopez not stressed at all. Second, uh, perfect of the match. And you're just starting to feel that Lopez has come down off that nervy ledge that she was on and has just settled into the match, feeling confident again. There's a bit of swagger in the stride. Yeah, that, that is exactly the, the difference that I was going to point out as well. The, the way she walks off the line is completely different than what we see uh, when, when it's not going that well. Um, it's that, you know, convincing, uh, yeah, you say it's swagger in her step, like it's a, a bit of a, a, yeah, different way of walking and a bit different, different tension in the face. Um, it's just, it, it, this looks like classic Sarah Lopez again, and also the way of shooting them. Yeah, the little nod there, the confidence, you see that the stride has a bounce to it. She's looking more hours to go very best. This 15-year-old story she, she's making right here, even if she was to lose to Lopez to make it to the final at her very first time of asking at 50 is something pretty incredible. Yeah. And she's not shooting bad at all. No, not at all. It's just that she is shooting up uh, or she's shooting against one of the greats, if not the greatest. Uh, and she's shooting very well at this moment as well. So it, it's difficult to uh, 
win over Sarah Lopez in any case, but especially if she's shooting the way she is shooting. Right Shot. There was a bit of a, almost a, a bit of doubt when she was pulling through the uh, release aid. So she shoots with a uh, sorry chef. Was it a great shot from uh, Ayala? But what happened there? Was, uh, I don't think she wanted that shot to go that You can see that there was a bit of a, a reaction with her thumb. Uh, and you can just feel the stress right now, uh, just looking at her face. Not a great shot from Ayala from 29. Uh, she came into the, the fourth end, it's three points down, but that seven from Lopez, and she's called back two of them, and look at the reaction. Yeah, I think she's she's spoken before about uh, a bit of target panic, and I think this was maybe you had coming to the surface a little bit. Um, but we've seen it, I think it was last year here as well, where she, she was struggling with it just a little bit, and then... Uh, just one match later, she broke the world record, so she knows how to recover from it. And yeah, I mean, look, the, 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 you know, you got to feel. I, whenever you talk about Tiger Power, I never experienced it, but I kind of understand it. Having competed in sport myself, that nervousness, the tension that freezes you up, uh, and you've got to, you know, think and hope for for Lopez that she recovers. But what it does mean here is that Lico Ariola has a massive chance. For sure, yeah, especially since Sarah now has to recover. And, and Liko can just close again. Just doing what she needs to do as well, putting pressure on her opponent, shooting first in the final end. What a way to recover from that seven. What Liko is doing right now is, is what she needs to be doing and what she has to do to win this match. She needs to put pressure on Sarah Lopez because she's seen uh, a little kink in the armor. Certainly has. It's all down to this final arrow from the pair of them. It's in Lopez's hands, but Ariola finishes with a perfect. It is a story in the making, that's for sure. A 145 set, a 10 for the win. A big one, a little bit of a flinch from Lopez, and she puts it into the nine! Oh my goodness me, for the neutral, this is exactly what you want. A 145 plays 145 after the five regulation ends. A 29 from Lopez is a recovery from a seven she shot at the end of the fourth. Now, Nervous, it's well, I'm nervous. I can't imagine how they're feeling. Confirmation that we have got a tight score from the target judge. Uh, Chef, I know you've all of talking about them, but uh, what's about to happen? Uh, so they're gonna shoot a uh, shoot off arrow, and um, the closest arrow to center will decide this match. So it's almost as if they didn't shoot this whole match, uh, they walk up to the line, the person who shoots the arrow closest to the center wins and walks away with the World Cup stage win. I mean, it's impossible to root for one or the other if you're a neutral here. It's such a fantastic story here for uh, Ariola, 15 years old, making her debut on the outdoor scene for the USA at a World Cup stage. Sara Lopez on the 10th anniversary of this event happening in Medellin on home soil, going for her 12th stage win and a place in the Hyundai Archery World Cup finals up for grabs. You could make this one up. What a story. We'll be talking about this one for years and it's still not over yet one arrow to decide the compound women's individual and it's down to these two archers the greatest of all time Sara Lopez up against the new pretender from Hawaii and the United States of America Liko Ariola. Lopez trying to breed out the tension will shoot first oh. 
and nine. The door is open here for Ariola to make history. It's in the 10, and Lika Aroni from the USA on her debut for the US team at a World Cup stage has done it, taking gold against the greatest of all time, going over to give her a hug. What a way to do it, probably against one of her heroes in the sport. Lika Ariola has put a marker down in the compound women's individual discipline here in Medellin, and she, with the gold medal, has put her place at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final.